Okay, first video, Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City. We're here, dude. We are going to be doing measurement this morning, and we're going to look at precision. We're going to look at precision, what precision is. We're going to read scales. We're going to understand how to read scales. Now, so what do you have to know to be able to read a scale? I'll give you a hint, okay? You ready? You ready? Don't move the camera. I have a, I have a videographer. He's imported from Ho Chi Minh City. He's excellent. Korean, right? Yeah, he's Korean, he's great. I imported from Korea, sorry, from Seoul, okay? I'll give you a hint, you ready? Hundreds, tens, what's next? What's one less than tens? Ones. Ones. Tenths. Tenths, good. What's one less than tenths? Hundreds. Hundreds. So what do you need to know before you can read a scale? Units. No, the abbreviation is PV. I'll give, I'll give you the first word and you give the second word. How's that? Place. Value. There you go. Place. I knew you could do it. Excellent. Place value. Okay? So you have to know place value. Yes or no? Yes. So let's 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 read these scales. Yes? Same thing we were doing yesterday, correct? Yes. Yes, okay. We kind of started it yesterday. I want to finish it today. And I want to start what's in the book. Yes? yes. And you're going to be cooking. Tonight when you go home, smoke and steam will come out of your ears. And your parents are going to say, what are you doing? And you say, mom and dad, I'm smoking, dude. I know what I'm doing, and I'm smoking. Understood? Understand? Okay, good. Now, so, you see this? These are scales. Yes, remember? Scales. Now, they're based on tens, right? So let's look. 100, 200. 10, 20. 1,000, 2,000. 1, 2. 0. 0.1, 0. 0.2. But look carefully. If this is 10 and this is 20, what would that be? 1. No. 11. Oh. 11. So count with me. 11, 12, 13, 13 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, etc. Right? So there's 10 gradations, correct? Okay, let's look at this one. 100, 200. That would be... 110, 120, 120, 130, 140, etc. So do you understand it's based on tens? Okay, good. Now, let's look at this. Think of this as part of a larger scale, okay? Think of it as part of a larger scale. You okay with that? Okay. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So in other words, it's going like this. 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Right? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. You're, you're sure. Positive. Mr. Serbia? Yes. Excellent. So what place value is changing? Ten. Tens, right? Tens is changing. Good. Excellent. 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 Tens. So this is tens place. Now, here's this. Count with me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So let's write that down. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What place value is changing? One. Ones. ones. So tens, one less than tens is one, one. ones. Excellent. Now, this is the deal. The rule. Everybody's got to abide by it. Mr. Korea, Mr. Serbia, Miss Vietnam, everybody. Mr. United States, Cambodia, who's Russian? Oh my God, she's got, we got a Russian in the room? Excellent, I love Russia, God bless Russia. We need a convention, international convention that everyone goes by. Do you understand? This is the rule, if you're five years old, 60 years old, 15 years old, 
I don't care. I don't care if you are a construction worker using a meter stick or a Nobel Prize winner using a caliper. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how sophisticated you are. It doesn't matter. The rule's the same. What's the rule? All measurements, write this down. Write this down from Professor Correa, our videographer. Write this down. All measurements, and you may have already written it down, but this is important to write it down again. You ready? Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. What movie is that from? Uh, Approximately the year 2000? Matrix. Beginning of the movie with Trinity. Do it! Do it now! Great line. Okay, so this is the rule. You ready? All measurements, measurements from a scale are red. All measurements from a scale are red. All measurements from a scale are red to how many? One. What? Estimated place value. Remember? One estimated place value. Now, the estimated place value, we call it the guess. It's kind of an estimation. It's a guess, right? And it's right here. I personally nickname it the Twilight Zone because you're not really sure. Let me explain, okay? Let me explain. This measurement right here, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What would you, Professor Serbia, what would you make that measurement out to be? Uh, like 15 and a half. Go ahead, start with 10. All right, 15 and a half. How would you write that in numbers, 15 and a half? 15.5. Wonderful. Brilliant. He said 15.5. So what are you what are you doing when you do that? Where does that five come from? The point five. Where does it come from? Um, 15, 16, 16. All right, you're gonna use your brain, but I'm going to speak for your brain, because I know you're thinking this. You ready? This is I know this is like really weird. I'm tel I'm telepathic. I know what you're thinking and I can speak for you. It's really weird. Wait till you hear this and you're going to say, how did you know my brain had that? I do. I know, it's really weird. It's kind of like on Independence Day when the alien speaks through the humans. Exactly. I'm a lot more like an alien, don't tell anybody. I, meaning you, I'm from Serbia, meaning you, I estimated, I estimated, I guessed that 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 line is exactly in the middle of the two graduations. I'm estimating that that is right in the middle of these two, it's halfway. Because I originally said 15 and a half. But like you said, in terms of numbers, it's 15.5. So I'm estimating that it's in the middle, right? Was that spooky or what? Isn't that what you were thinking? Woo. Exactly, dude, I'm telling you. Now, what would this one be here? What would that one be? 14. 14. Point zero. Why 0.0? Because it's the exact number. Because you're estimating what? That it's exactly on the Oh my. Where are you from? It's like everybody like that here? That's unbelievable. Exactly, it's exactly what I want. He's estimating that that arrow is exactly on the line. <clears throat> Not on the line. Exactly on the line. You got it? Now, it might be a little off. It could be plus or minus. But what's the precision of that instrument? What's the precision? The precision is the estimation. What place value is the estimation? What place value is the... No. This estimation, this area here, what's the estimation? What place value is it? Tenths. Tenths. That's the estimation. So what, what do you do with that estimation? How do you represent that estimation? Plus and minus, exactly. You said it, what'd you say? Point zero. No, oh, point zero, no. You have to use a one, point something. Exactly, how do you write, the, how do you write, how do you write? 
Zero point one. Point one. Right? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Do you know what that's called? Like if you take IB, and it's also in American physics books and chemistry books, it's called the uncertainty. Does that make sense? Precision. Yeah, but it's actually the precision. Precision is an idea. We're going to go over what precision is a little bit later in terms of the idea. But precision is actually a number. Middle school. That's middle school. Okay, thank God. Precision is actually a number. That's what it is. If someone says, what's precision, what do you say? Show me the instrument. And I'll tell you what the precision is. Do you get it? I'm sorry. So we have, to, we have to look at the uncertainty. We have to look at the what? The guess. We have to look at the estimation. We have to look at the what? We have to look at the what? Come on, tell me. We have to look at the what? We have to look at the what? We have to look at the place value. Because estimation, precision, uncertainty is really what? A what? A, a PV, dude. PV. But yes, it's a place value. Yes or no? Yes. Place value. Okay, you get it? You get it? Okay. So what is the estimation here? What am I estimating to be the place value? Ten, one. That, Ten. One. Ones. In other words, this is 100, 200, 300, 400. Right? Oh, oh, oh. So what place value is changing? The large graduations are hundreds, right? Yes. 100, 110, 20, 30, 40. So it's going to be, it's going to be 110, 120, 130, 140. This is the place value that's changing here, right? Right? Have you figured it out yet? Have you figured it out yet? Are you ready? Write this down. The estimated place value the estimated place value, the estimated place value, the estimated place value is the place value one less than the smallest gradation, or one less than the place value represented by the smallest gradation. One less. In other words, what's the, what place value is represented by the smallest gradation? right here. Tens, right? Right? What's one less than tens? That's right. So, it's going to be plus or minus one. You get it? You get it? Let's practice that, okay? Let's, let's see if we know that. And you're going to do it. You ready? What's that answer? Excellent. 155. What place value is that? One. Excellent. What place value is that? You got it, dude. What's the precision? One. There you go. You got it. Do that one. This is a little weird. We have to do this one together right now. It's a little weird. There's a convention that you have to know. Okay? You ready? What's this, What's this answer? Did we do this yesterday with, <clears throat> is that zero from the instrument? Yes. It is, that's right. Now, listen carefully. And then we're gonna stop the video in a minute, and then we're gonna make another one. I don't wanna make this too long, because this is already too long, okay? Does that zero in the 140, is that from the instrument? Yes or no? Is that zero from the instrument? Yes. Why? Uh, because it's, it's... Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. The zero, if the zero is within the precision, it's from the instrument. Is that zero within the precision? Yes. What's the precision? Ones. What place value is the zero in? Ones. Is it ones? 
therefore is it from the instrument? Yes. What is a what is a zero called when it's when it's from the instrument? It has a function. It functions. What is it called? It has what? It's a word that starts with an S. I'll give you the first syllable. Sig. 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 Four syllables. Three more to go. Sig. Nif. Significant. significant. It has significance. It is a significant digit. If a zero comes from an instrument, it has significance. You got it? That is the first major concept within the chapter. Yes or no? Turn it off.